Yeah, downloading the One Football app is free. The link is in the description for that. All the latest news, your transfers, your gossip, stats with Newcastle United. Every football fan needs it. Hello everyone, what's going on? He's alright, it's Kyle for Newcastle Fans TV. It's been a while since I've last been on the channel, uh, since Liverpool at home and St James's Park when I was on the player ratings and fan cams. Uh, I've been up to my eyes in uni, to be honest, I've got three exams to prepare for for tomorrow as I record this and uh, sev several other things as well to, to complete by Friday. And it's, it's, it's been a whirlwind. Life as a uni student is a is a, um, is a hard one. I'm sure there's a couple of students awaiting the results watching this now and Good luck to you, because it's been, it's been a difficult one, trust us. Um, onto, on, onto the Newcastle, and anyway, the under-23s um, have been in action twice over the last couple of days, and uh, they've been they've been in two massive games. The first one taking place at Goodison Park in the Premier Cup final. Uh, unfortunately, the under-23s lose 1-0. We had a couple of good chances early on through Luke Charman from a uh, corner from Longstaff, uh, but unfortunately we just couldn't put them away the the problem is I don't criticise Ben Dawson for much but I don't know how you can drop Yannick Torrey and Eli Sorensen for this game I mean it's a final at the end of the day you know they should be playing 30 goals between them uh, under 23 level you kind of drop them kind of players Everton's, Everton under 23 back four must have been rubbing the hands thing and we've got an easier evening than expected dropping with two, two main men up top at under 23 level however the second result takes us on to uh, the playoff final in division 2 for the under 23s which was against Southampton at St Mary's and again we're, we're bottle the under 23s bottle it basically uh, we're, unfortunately we're, we conceded two first half goals to Southampton and the game looked dead and buried after 60 minutes I'm going to be honest I mean it's a shame we're great. Owen Bailey fired back with 10 minutes to go but just like the Everton game lads lasses too little too late it's a shame because it it's a big negative to end the end the end the season on which has been so productive for the under 23s a lot of that team has came through to the first team and featured in the squad uh the check a trade run where we'll beat several league sides eventually drawn Sunderland's first team that's right Sunderland fans your first team against our our under 23s but you know it's it's a, it's been a productive season. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lay into them. They've had a really good season, but there's been a couple of departures. I'm sure you've seen recently. Steve Hart was the the main one. Um, he's decided to leave the club as the goalkeeping academy coach, and he's been working very closely with with Nathan Hart all season and Freddie Woodman. But to be fair, last year when he was appointed. The academy coach. It was a match made in heaven. He's been at Newcastle for such a long time, looking for a coaching job. Newcastle say he can work with with Rafa and his staff and Ben Dawson as his staff as well, and really learn the ropes. But he wants to pursue other things. I mean, good luck to him. Steve Harper has been a massive part of Newcastle United for for a long time now. Whether he's been a backup to Shea Given or standing up and being counted for in the in the championship season when we went up. He's always been uh, Mr. Dependable when he's been at the club, Steve Harper, so I wish him all the best in what he's doing. And lastly, uh, on to Callum Roberts as well. He's gonna be he's gonna be released at the end of the season, which gotta be honest, I'm gutted. I mean he's a Shields lad, he's done very well in the under twenty three setup for such a long time now, but you're starting to think now he's twenty two, twenty three. Like he's he's not he's not like a, a really young lad anymore. You'd probably be in a, in the part of his career where he's thinking, right, I want to play first team football. I want to. I don't want to play in under twenty threes because he's he's been really good at that level for such a long time now, and it's just it's such a shame that he never really got the chance. I mean, he got the closest to a chance that he got. Ironically, in the first team was this season. Blackburn away he gets the start and he scores. He he scores, takes his chance and scores a goal at Ewood Park and scores for his hometown club. And you and we're thinking. I see. Even said me fan calm after the game. You know, it's it, it's it's great to see Callum Roberts and Sean Longstaff score on the night. And will the will Roberts appear against Watford? Will he appear in other Premier League games? But he never got he never got the nod. So he never really got the chance to prove his sell again. It's a shame because I think there's a lot of potential there with Roberts, and I really think he could kick on and do well here. But the club have decided not to keep ahead of him. So. Wherever he ends up, I'm sure he'll smash it and good luck to you, mate. Because, uh, 
honestly, you, you a lot of potential there. Just I don't think the club has to say. The club obviously has decided not to keep him on, but um, to, to have a joke, mate. If you if you're free this Sunday, we've got a charity match against ASAP, and then a fortnight later we'll play Borough Fan TV. So if you're free, mate, we could do for striker. So uh, Newcastle are looking for a loan manager um, because of all the recent problems that we've had with loan players going out on loan. Um, I spent little like Sorensen only getting half an hour at Blackpool before not being played at all. Uh, Jamie Sterry's loan got cocked up at Crew. There's been plenty of loan moves that haven't went right, and this loan manager's supposedly one of the, like the roles he's taken is to make sure these these like the bands get plenty plenty game time where they're going. Like the futures are Yannick Torre, Eli Sorensen, Matty Longstaff, Kel Watts, Owen Bailey, Harker. Like all these could do with loan moves next season. So for me, I think a loan manager would be a good appointment to make sure these lads get what they need in terms of game time and experience. Um, and the other bit of news was Ben Dawson's actually moving to a different position in the club, which is bizarre to me because he's done a phenomenal job in the in in the coaching staff for for the under twenty threes. We've made so much progress in such little time. We're getting. Many players that are reaching the squad, we've done well in the Cups, we've done well in the league. We've just been that close from maybe going up, like maybe getting promoted and winning a trophy. And even then we got close in the Czech trade as well. So there's there's plenty Ben Dawson's done, so it's bizarre to me that change his role. But we'll see how things develop with that one. It's who the replace to get who the replace for the under twenty threes is the important one. Who would you go for? Any any suggestions? I mean, I'm not not too savvy on the under twenty three level, to be honest. So I don't know who who I'd go with. I mean, th- there isn't really anyone that springs to mind. But if Rafa's still in charge, I'm sure he he'll have someone lined up and ready to take that role on from Ben Dawson. But it's a shame that it's been taken away from Ben Dawson because he's done so well. Yeah, that's pretty much the under twenty three news uh, in general. In any way, that which ends off uh, rounds off the season. Later this week, we've got loads of things going on. We've got the got the charity match against ASAP. Uh, we'll tribute video to Bobby Robson. All that, all that coming up. I think I think Lee mentioned a live stream for the match. So if you're interested in seeing that, uh, smash the like button. Let us know in the comments what you think of the under twenty three situation. And if if you like like me, just waffling for five ten minutes of your time. Let us know in the comments if you enjoy this, because I don't, I don't mind sitting, getting me camera out and, and talking absolute shit for 10 minutes. I don't mind at all. So if you enjoy that, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Like the video and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.